everyone. Welcome to Live Interactive English. This is Karen. Hi, everybody. I am Shane. Today we're looking at part one of Are claims against bread half baked?、Hmm. And the vocabulary words are debate. Debate. We will have a debate in class tomorrow. Frequently. Frequently. My parents frequently tell me about the importance of doing well in school. Hmm. Balanced. Balanced. Laura wrote a book about how to live a balanced life. Additional. Additional. There's an additional fee if you lose the key to your room. Element. Element. Will wrote a book about the elements of English writing. Hmm. So we're、mm. talking about bread. bread. I love bread. I love bread too. I think it's really sad、mm. that people think they're not allowed to eat bread anymore. I know. I think some people think that bread makes you fat. I think the is that true? Biggest problem is is that we like to eat. Carbohydrates and usually、mm-hmm. breads and stuff like cakes、mm-hmm. and muffins and cookies and these kind、Donuts. of things.、Mm-hmm. They're full of sugar、That's、and、right. full of fats and things like that. So it's not really that bread is bad for you.、Mm-hmm. It's maybe like the topping or the things that you、exactly. add inside. Maybe a lot of sugar, like you said. Yeah, but yeah. just basic bread is very delicious. Right. And very nutritious. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like a myth, right? Yeah, I think that there's some truth to it because we should be cutting out some of the simple carbohydrates,、mm-hmm. or we call carbs,、mm-hmm. from our diets. But we shouldn't be not eating bread or not eating rice and these kind of things. Because bread, it's good for you. Because your body still needs it. It's very important. That's right. So do not skip. The bread. <laughs> you don't have to eat too much, but I think a little bit is all right. Of course. All right. Okay. Let's enjoy today's lesson. Are claims against bread half baked? Humans have been eating bread for thousands of years, but some people are now saying that it's bad for you. Are they right, or have they just been fooled by something they read on the internet? Let's find out the facts by taking a look at some popular bread myths and debates. Welcome to Live Interactive English Magazine. Today's lesson is called "Are Claims Against Bread Half Baked?" Part one. Hi, everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm Mike. So we're talking about health and diet here. A lot of people are starting to look at bread in a new way. It used to be considered a fairly healthy food, one of our staples. Like rice is a staple in Asia, bread is a staple in the West. But now, new science is making people think that that healthy loaf of brown bread. Might not be that healthy. So these are the claims against bread. People claiming that bread is bad for you in some way. But the title did ask if these claims are half baked. Yeah, if something is half baked, it's not really serious or it's not really believable. Ah, how clever!、Mm. That had me fooled. You do bake. Bread. You cook bread. You bake it. Yes. How can a claim? How can an idea about something be half baked? Well, well, if you half bake a loaf of bread,、mm-hmm. you don't have a loaf of bread. It hasn't been fully cooked. The same way, if you have an idea and you don't think it all the way through, that idea can be half baked. How clever. Anyways, more on bread. Humans have been eating bread for thousands of years. But some people are now saying that it's bad for you. Yes, bread is filled with carbs and gluten and all sorts of stuff like that. So stop eating bread. Now, are they right, or have they just been fooled by something they read on the internet? Have they been fooled by half-baked ideas? Well, that's the question. So the article continues. Let's find out the facts by taking a look at some popular bread myths and debates. So we're going to be looking at some of the arguments for bread and against it. Some of these might be myths, might be things that people believe but really are not true. 
but some also are part of a, a debate about how healthy bread is. Speaking of debates, a debate is like an argument, but a debate is a controlled argument where people discuss two sides of an issue. It can get heated, but it usually doesn't break out into a fight or into, or into a verbal confrontation or a verbal argument. That's what a debate is. For example, we will have a debate in class tomorrow. We will discuss a certain topic, both sides of it, okay, but we won't fight. We'll just be talking about the two sides, the pros and cons of something. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break, but don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Hello, 大家好,我是Hanny.今天的课文标题是 Are claims against bread half-baked? Half-baked 字面上的意思是烤到一半的那就是还没烤好的它可以用来形容某个想法或是计划等等考虑不周详不切实际的好那我们这两天的课文就是要介绍关于面包的一些常见迷思我们一起来检视这些迷思呢是不是太武断太草
Not necessarily. However, if you eat only six servings of regular bread a day as part of a healthy, balanced diet, there's nothing to be worried about. And when we're talking about regular bread, we're talking about white bread or wheat bread or maybe rye bread. You can't go to a pastry shop and eat a bunch of sweet bread with added sugar and cream and stuff like that. Have that maybe once a week. If you're going to have six servings of bread, make it regular bread. And yes, if you only eat six servings of regular bread as a part of a balanced diet, you're not going to get fat. Anyways, before we move on, we've got the adjective balanced to talk about. If you eat a balanced diet, you don't have too much of one thing and too little of something else. All the amounts of all the foods that you're eating are at about the right amount. There's not too much of one thing and too little of another, just like I said before. Anyways, for example, Laura wrote a book about how to live a balanced life. Now, Jeff mentioned there that six servings of bread a day should be fine. Now, this, of course, a serving is how scientists would measure the nutrition in a, in a piece of bread. And as you mentioned, a donut does not equal one serving of no, bread. That's, it's, that's... it's not the same. And that's where the problem comes in. That's where that serving of bread might become unhealthy. It says the problem is with types of bread that have additional toppings and fillings like cream, jam, or chocolate. If you put a lot of butter on your bread and then a lot of honey or strawberry jam or peanut butter, or you get that bread with you know cream or or pork floss or whatever <laughs> on top of it, this will be pushing your healthy bread over into the unhealthy category. It's those additional toppings. Simple plain bread, no problem. Bread covered in chocolate spread, that's not so healthy. So be careful with those extra or additional toppings. Additional, the adjective is like extra. It's something that does not come as part of it. It's something that is added. You see the ADD of add. It's added on. It's attached later on, but it is not part of the original thing. For example, there's an additional fee if you lose the key to your room. So your hotel room will cost a certain amount, but if you make a lot of phone calls or get room service or watch movies or lose or break things, there will be an additional, an extra fee. So before the break, break we read, as long as you avoid these, the toppings, as long as you avoid these, then you won't be putting on weight. So keep your bread nice and naked. Don't put a lot of extra stuff on it. And if you do, just a tiny little bit. All right, we'll take a break and then we'll be back with more bread myths and debates. Cake isn't bread. No, it's not bread. 同学们应该常常听到吃面包会让人发胖，这是真的吗？其实如果一天只吃六份一般的面包来当做健康均衡饮食的一部分，那就没什么好担心了。Jeff老师刚刚提到几种面包，white bread 是白面包，wheat bread 表示小麦面包，还有 rye bread 是裸麦面包，其中这个 rye 是拼作 r y e。其实面包让人发胖的关键是在于那些添加的配料和馅料，像是奶油啊、果酱、花生酱、巧克力、肉松等等。其实只要避开这些，就不会变胖了。那我们顺便学一下 pork floss。Pork floss 就是指肉松，这个floss是拼作 f l o s s。它是形容均衡的兼顾各方的当我们说 a balanced diet 就表示均衡饮食再来看 additional additional 它是形容额外的附加的意思跟extra差不多 那Michael在解释单字时用到 attached attached 它是拼作 attached 那这个字可以用来形容附属的 再来看补充单字 topping topping在这边是指配料 还有 serving serving 通常是指一份的食物的量通常是指供一个人食用的一份 
那我们在食品包装上面呢，常会看到它会标明说一份食物里面有含有多少营养、营养成分。我们顺便学一下 nutrition， nutrition 它是拼作 n u t r i t i o n， 那这个字是指营养。接华课文中。Are claims against bread half-baked? People also say that eating bread makes you bloated. This can be true, as many bakers now include chemicals in their bread to make it rise more quickly. These extra elements can produce a lot of gas in some people's stomachs. If this happens to you, try going to a baker who makes bread using wild yeast without the chemicals. Okay, let's move on to myth number two. People also say that eating bread makes you bloated. So, bread—if you eat regular bread, it's not going to make you fat. But does eating bread make you bloated? Ah, bloated is that feeling of having a lot of gas in your stomach. You、like、feel your, like a balloon. Your your tummy has become a balloon. If you've ever drunk too much、um, soft drink, too much Coca Cola or Seven Up or something with bubbles in it. You know that feeling of being bloated. Sometimes the gas comes out. Sometimes time has to go. So this isn't the feeling of you know eating too much food. It's what happens inside your body after you eat the food to give you that puffed-up balloon feeling. This can be true. It says as many bakers now include chemicals in their bread. To make it rise more quickly, so these are some of the additional things, additional chemicals in this case that they do put in modern bread, just to make it produce, just to allow them to produce the bread faster. Now, in some ways, if you put weird chemicals in your body, strange side effects can occur, and. One of the side effects is this bloated feeling. So, how does that exactly happen in your body? Well, it says these extra elements can produce a lot of gas in some people's stomachs. So, the bakers they put the extra stuff in the bread、mm -hmm. to make the bread rise. And yes, when you eat these extra elements, they go into your body and they produce gas, and you blow up too. You become Bloated. Now here we have the word element to talk about. It's a noun. Here, an element of something is a part of something. It's kind of like an ingredient for something. Yes, here, an element is a part of something that kind of makes up a part of that thing. If you take that thing apart, you take it apart into its its single parts. Those single parts that you've divided it into are its elements. For example. Will wrote a book about the elements of English writing. If you want to write well in English, these are the things you have to do. These are the elements of English writing. Everything from vocabulary to grammar to, to sentence structure, sentence structure, constructing your article, all of that different stuff. Those are the different elements. Well, what about you? What about if you have this bloated feeling? After eating bread, it says if this happens to you, try going to a baker who makes bread using wild yeast without the chemicals. We should point out that apart from the bloated feeling, these chemicals probably won't hurt you. But if you don't like that feeling, which would be natural, then you can avoid it by having bread that uses wild yeast. And no chemicals. One warning: it might be hard to find a baker who makes bread that way, or and it, and it might be expensive. And it might be expensive, or you might want to try making it yourself at home, or just eat less bread. There you go. All right, folks. With that, today's lesson is in the books. But don't go away. We'll be back next time with more on bread. 吃面包会引起胀气吗？哎，这倒有可能是真的哦。因为现在很多面包师傅会在面包里面加化学物质来让面包发得更快，而这些额外的成分就会在某些人的胃里面产生大量的气体。如果你有碰到这个情况，可能就得去找那些是使用野生酵母而不是用化学物质做的面包了。好，文中的 yeast，yeast yeast 就表示酵母。我们最后来看单字 element。Element， 它表示成分、要素或是元素。那么补充单字 bloated，bloated， bloated, 它是形容肚子胀的。刚刚 Mike 老师用到 puff 这个字 ，p 
puff. Puff 当动词表示膨胀、肿胀，它常常搭配介系词 up 一起使用。好了，那么以上是这些讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。大家好，我是 Hanny。在今天的课程中，我们要介绍三个文法重点。第一个是现在完成进行式的用法，第二个是 as long as， 第三个是 put on 的常见用法。首先，我们来学习现在完成进行式的用法。现在完成进行式是用来表达持续至今仍在进行的动作。那么句型结构是主词加上 have 或是 has 加上 been 再加动词 ing。那这个句型常常搭配 for 加一段时间，或是搭配 since 加上开始的时间点来表达持续了多久。来看两个例句 ：Her brother has been working as a doctor since 2009。他哥哥从二零零九年开始担任医生的工作，至今仍然是医生。We have been looking for a parking space for more than one hour. 我们已经找车位找了超过一个小时了，现在还在找。接下来，我们来学习 as long as. As long as 表示只要，用来引导表示条件的副词子句，也可以写作 so long as. 例如 ，As long as you don't mind loud music, you will enjoy the rock concert. 只要你不介意吵杂的音乐，你会喜欢那一场摇滚演唱会的。最后，我们来学习 put on 的常见用法。第一种是表达增加，像是数量的增加，例如 put on weight 就表示体重增加。来看个例句 ：I've put on a few pounds lately。我最近体重增加了几磅，稍微胖了一点。第二种用法是表达穿或是戴，例如。She put on her hat and sunglasses before getting out of the car. 她在下车之前戴上了帽子和墨镜。第三种是表达涂抹，例如 ，You should put on some sunscreen before going outside. 你出门之前应该先擦一点防晒。以上是今天重点整理，我们下次见喽。See you next time. Bye.旅行遇到紧急状况的五个实用句，欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》，我是悠悠，我是Jay。出门在外如果遇到了需要求救的紧急状况，该怎么办呢？救我，救我！对，我们今天跟大家分享五个需要呼
Someone stole my wallet. Someone stole my bag. Someone stole my wallet. 为什么这边用过去式的？因为已经被偷了啊！对嘛，你叫的时候，他早就已经拿走了。所以 ，someone stole my wallet、嗯。有人偷走了我的皮夹。是的，所以呢，这个呼救、报警之后，赶快联络当地的大使馆寻求协助，这个很重要哦。嗯、大使馆哦，英文叫 embassy。embassy。embassy。embassy。所以呢 ，Could you tell me when the embassy opens？ Could you tell me when the embassy opens? 嗯，它什么时候开？ Okay. 什么时候开？万一他休息了吧？但还是要跟他们讲哦，不要那个哦。对。然后如果上了警察局，要保持冷静，告诉他们发生什么事情，保持冷静。对，你就说、嗯、I need to report 什么什么东西哈、嗯，我要举报，举报、哦，我要报案，我要报什么什么东西。OK。Report。所以比如说 I need to report a stolen passport。I need to report a stolen passport. 对，我要这个报案，我要有一个失窃的护照。I need to report a stolen passport. 真的很重要，你的 passport 就是你的最重要的身份记录，所以你一定要寻回，赶快联络大使馆，联络警察哦。OK， 希望大家出门都平平安安。来看我们今天的 live action. Oh, help! I was robbed. What happened? Someone snatched my bag. Okay. Could you tell me when the embassy opens? I need to report my stolen bag and passport. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, lady, calm down. Uh, Can I have your name, please? Uh, Yolanda. Yolanda Wong. Hurry up.